you must be emotionally intelligent, very critical. Is this a cause of its own emotional intelligence? You you need to be emotionally intelligent. There are things that will trigger you off, and you start talking. It shows that you don't you are not emotionally intelligent. You start behaving abnormally. You flew off. <laughs> <laughs> There are certain questions, and these questions are personalized. This question for you to answer, it has to be in you, you as a person. And so, well, you now ask, um, you want now said, who are you? you this, these are questions that are personalized questions. Who are you? The totality of you determines the outcome of what you are pursuing. You are taught life is part of the totality of you. So you need to define yourself. And in defining yourself as we go on, we discover that there are things, when you define yourself objectively, the, the truth is that you now know where you are weak and try to build yourself up. That's why you must be realistic in defining who, my, who are you, who am I? What I'm pursuing, do I have it? Do I have capacity? Those questions, if you're able to know, get them done, then you have upgraded yourself to the level you can now push. Go on with what you are doing. Because when we are talking about the totality of us, both the skills you have, both the skills you need and all that, the attitude, your personality, and all that, they are all the totality of you. And they provide solution to the problem you want to solve. You know, an entrepreneur is a problem solver. Do we agree? Yes. You are a problem solver. So you are able to solve a problem, your ability to solve a problem depends on the capacity, depends on what you have, depends on you. And you, as a person, is the totality of what is inside you. So you must be conscious of what is inside me. Do I have capacity to drive this? If you don't have, then the next thing is to look for how to do it. We get there. And so, and we said that self-knowledge allows you to know whom you are, what problems are, are called, what problems you are called to solve. Let me say this. Every person, by virtue of creation, is called to solve a problem. Praise God. Every person as every creator, every, person, every creation, a form of human, you are called for a purpose. Most times you don't discover your purpose early. But at any time you discover it, you are, you are free to you are on the, on the path of success. I think we gave an example of a, a KFC who discovered his own purpose at the latter age when he had already retired but still became a success, a successful man.